It is 11 to 9, Triple M's weekend breakfast and Suncorp Super Netball. The new reinvigorated Netball League is taking the country by storm. No small part due to the two Melbourne franchises who are lighting it up on court. And we have two stars from each of those franchises. Kate Maloney from the Melbourne Vixens, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me, sir. A pleasure. And Shani Layton from the Magpies, good morning. Good morning. Now, Shans, you had a little bit Sorry. of uh, feedback on that last track we played, Closing Time. I do, because that is my number one trivia question. So does anyone <laughs> in this room actually know who sings that? It's like one of the best <laughs> one-hit wonders of the 90s, yet no one knows who sings it's that. Classic. And it's in just about every sort of American Pie-esque, you know, comedy kind of film. Movie, yeah, yeah. 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 So Closing time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, the Spice Girls. No, I, don't, I, I, yeah. I have no idea. No semi-sonic, idea. Semi-Sonic, guys. Semi- and keep that up your sleeve. What is the, it? The semi-Sonic. Next... Yeah, Semi-Sonic. Right. Is is it, hang on. We'll go to our panel operator, track. Tom Bainbridge. Is that correct, according to the music log? Oh, God. I should have got like a ding sound effect. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. Semi-Sonic. Ten points late. I win my own trivia yeah. question. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get a Triple M merchandise pack for you. Thanks for calling us. One triple three five three. Yeah. Now, the battle, it's called, when the Vixens and the Magpies get it on. And last time, it was your side, Kate, who got the chocolates. It was. It was um, a really great game. We were probably going in uh, not expected to win that game. And we put out a really good performance. And, you know, uh, I think both the Vixens and Collingwood have improved so much since that game. So it's going to be a really tough one tomorrow. That is the most humblest feedback you'll ever hear, Shans. You're going to smash him, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> mate. <laughs> <laughs> no. Look, um, it's good to, it is so interesting when you do hear what is going on behind the scenes because you hear so much and you see so much written in the papers. But, yep. you know, from our point of view, um, we definitely didn't feel like we were going in um, as the top dogs because we were a new team and we'd had a whole of eight days together before that first game. And look, is we're not right? making excuses by any means. But <laughs> that's the only Sounds like you a bit want, of an excuse. Yeah. But, uh, no, no. but, you know, you look at a Vixens and they are so well drilled and they've done that since round one as well. And, you know, the, these girls, um, you know, from the outset, they might look a bit younger than our team or a little bit less experienced. But I spent January in the UK and South Africa um, with the likes of an M Maddox. And I can tell you, she's definitely one of the most up and coming or is the most up and coming defender in the league at the moment. She is so skillful, tall, gets to balls and you don't know how. And um, when you've got someone like a Kate next to me, who's just, you know, so much mongrel and can get in and amongst it, it's uh, no wonder they're giving teams hell at the moment. It's the voice of Sean. Shani Layton from the Collingwood Netball Club. We've got Kate Maloney in studio from the Melbourne Vixens. The battle is happening tomorrow at High Sense Arena. Whose home game is it? It's Collingwood. It is Collingwood. It's Collingwood. Yeah. Because yeah. the last prize, time you, the last time I went to a Collingwood home game, you guys absolutely bribed the crowd by putting Collingwood <laughs> t-shirts on we every chair it well, in the stadium. It, yeah. And the Vixens <laughs> played afterwards, and everyone was wearing black and yeah, white. Yeah, they were. <laughs> well, it's, and that's the new thing with it, I guess, with the league this year and bringing in those double headers. But for us, that was our first home game, and we wanted to make it something really special. Yeah. And a part of the reason I jumped on board with the Collingwood Magpies was because we want to take netball that next level. Yeah. Not just on the court, but in the entertainment factor yep. as well. And let's face it, not everyone loves Collingwood. So if we're going to buy the T-shirt to get <laughs> no, them on board, no, we're going to no. do it. <laughs> That's a bit of bribery. So, a little bit of bribery is never going to go astray. Kate, <laughs> okay, one of the most beautiful stories of Suncorp Super Netball and Netball over the last few years before Suncorp got involved is Maui Kamwenda, your goal shooter at the Vixens, you know, comes from Malawi. Very, very humble beginnings uh, and is now out here killing it uh, up forward for the Vixens. Yeah, I think, you know, Maui's story is absolutely incredible and uh, we are absolutely loving having her with the Vixens this year. She played with me in the Victorian Fury about four years ago and to have her back in Melbourne and playing as well as she is at the moment and alongside Tegan Caldwell, I think that shooting circle is just working really well at the moment. So we are loving having her back in Melbourne. Like literally for those who don't know the story, you know, comes from very humble beginnings in Malawi, sort of shacks, you know, dirt floor sort yeah. of sort of background yep. and is now out here as a professional sportswoman in Australia. She is fantastic. I actually started playing netball with no shoes, with a ball that they made from things that they found around really? their village and, you know, grew up in grass huts and stuff. So, you know, you just don't even realise how lucky you are until you talk to someone like her. Yeah. yeah. And isn't it right that her mum has to travel some ridiculous amount to even just make a phone call yeah, to her? Yeah, so her mum would have to ride her bike two hours, like once a week. I mean, I think once every fortnight or once a month to speak to her on the phone. So really? Absolutely crazy. But um, Maui's wow. actually 
gone and, and built her mum a house over in Malawi in the village is now, right? which is, oh. I think, just an amazing story as well. Yeah, so she is a, also an incredible person and, and has sent a lot of her money back over to her mum yeah. to build her a house. That's fantastic. And does, um, yeah, the shoe collections and stuff as well, yeah. which is unreal, <laughs> so that other girls can grow up playing netball with shoes, which is amazing. That's uh, brilliant. Well, Shani Layton from Collingwood and Kate Maloney from the Vixens, who's going to win tomorrow? We are. We are. <laughs> I've got my hand up here. No one can see it. I forget I'm on radio and not TV for a rock, paper, scissors off, which I think is going to be the true decider. Is that what it was? I thought Ready? you were going to punch it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Are we going on three? All right. They're Ready? doing rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors. scissors. Oh, it's double rock, scissors. Paper, scissors. Oh, yes! Layton with the Everyone, paper. Everyone, it Layton is official. With the it's paper, official. which also represents magpies. I want to rematch. That's it for I'll be calling it. it tomorrow with Kath Cox, guys. Thanks.